Hey, welcome back to AM Solar. Today I'm just going to show you a quick tip on how to use uh, the new AC terminals that come on the Victron MultiPlus 2 and some of their newer inverters. Um, they have a push in AC terminal now as opposed to um, the screw style. So these are going to be a little bit harder to work with, or at least initially, but they, um, they're actually quite easy to use. So uh, let's get into it. So, first off, I'm just going to go over the terminals primarily, not so much the interface here, but um, initially, you just want to go ahead and strip your wire back. So I'd use a razor blade um, very carefully here. The trick I use is to press my thumb against the razor blade so I don't push my thumb into the blade, push the thumb into the base. And then um, just run your finger around, or run the blade around the wire to score it. And then um, you usually can kind of bend it a little bit to break that open, like so. I'm not doing a very good job. I think I need a new razor blade here soon. Um, but once that pops open, kind of just goes around and pops off. Get a little twist, comes off. And then um, these, I also carefully use the razor blade to trim these down. And always cutting away from any skin. And once that's done, put the razor blade away. Um, we got our wires here. And a lot of these are going to be the MultiPlus 2, which has a four conductor. So you're going to have line two, which is the red wire. We don't have that set up here today, so I'm just going to show you with what we've got. So use the appropriate wire stripper to strip back the a pretty decent amount of copper. I'd say a little more than normal, maybe three quarters of an inch of copper. Go ahead and do that for all of them. Maybe half an inch of copper. That might even be a little much, but um, thankfully these newer terminals have a lot of wiggle room, so you don't have to get too particular. The one thing that's unique about these is that there's a lot of distance in the terminal before you actually interface the metal. So, um, you have to actually get in a little way. So typically I'd run this through here, pop this out, you'd razor blade the piece off until this fits into the ring here, loosen these nuts, and then you can use this um, strain relief to anchor the wire in place. So that would be how you connect it in there. Uh, and then once you've got that in, you basically wanna go ahead and install each one of these one at a time. And I like to actually give them a little bend so that they're easier to pop in. Um, be very careful not to mix up the line black one with anything. I want to get that into L. And so once those are kind of bent, it makes it a little easier. Um, if you're in here, it's best to use needle nose pliers to grab this and install it like that. But um, I'll show you from this angle. You want to make sure all the wires are twisted together. And then the actual casing is going to go inside and go in quite a little ways. So there's a lot of, you can see how far that went in relation to the other wires here. So there's, you know, almost that much in there. Um, so the casing actually goes inside. So once that's in though, you know, it should be really tight. It's not going anywhere. Do not use ferrules on these because the ferrule will get locked in and the copper will pull out of it. It's um, unfortunately the ferrules do not work well inside of here. And then, oops, make sure not to have any frayed wires. So physical earth, and then we've got the neutral. And it might be easier to get all these started before you push them in and then push them all in at the same time. But uh, it's way easier to do this with needle nose pliers um, than it is by hand. But once they're all in there, again, I usually have needle nose pliers. Go ahead and pull on each one. Make sure that they're really well anchored. I don't even think that grounds in all the way yet. So yeah, that's, yeah, it goes in quite a bit further than I had it. So yeah, there we go. To remove these, you just need a small flathead screwdriver. It doesn't need to be this long, but um, you want one that's not too short either. So you basically, of course, make sure you have power off before you go messing with this. You want to get this in there. Push down in like a small angle, but basically straight in. And you have to push pretty firmly before it pops in. Once that goes in, it gets stuck. And at that point, you can simply pull the wire out. It just falls right out. So, and then maybe a little twist to pull it out. Um, but yeah, once you get these in there, they pull out very easily. Uh, it's very tight though, so you really kind of have to push hard on the screwdriver. And they just pop right out, nice and easy. And that's it. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Take care.